In this Unit Jeff Day, you get a chance to win a t-shirt. So watch for more. Hello and welcome to this unit update. So, if you remember from last episode, you got introduced to Sally. And Sally and her team are currently working on our vehicle. Now, some of this work is being done in a very interesting location. We could tell you where that was, but we thought we'd play a game. You'll get clues along the way, and let's start with clue number one. We're heading to a place that is currently, and yes, it does change, 5.891 kilometers long, or should I say 3.6 miles. And where are we going, Isaac? So we're gonna leave the country to start with. I think it's time for clue number two. Where we are heading, you have to remember to indicate left in a roundabout. I don't know if we have any gamers out there, but we're now 1,337 kilometers away from our final destination. And I think it's time for clue number three. On our way to our final destination, we will pass a prestigious university established in the 12th century, also known to give name to a casual dress shirt type. And now this car is gonna go on its first ever boat ride. Is this the first boat ride? Yeah, it's probably the first boat ride. We're approaching Germany, and it's time for clue number four. The first part of the name of the place we are heading to is found in the periodic table under the symbol AG. We just entered Germany. Currently been driving for five hours, 11 hours to go. Stopped in Germany, and this is clue number five. The second half of the name consists of a less internationally known imperial unit of mass equal to 14 pounds or 6.4 kilograms. Here we go again. And question number six. Our destination is home of Lewis Hamilton's record lap time at 1 minute 30.621 seconds. We're now on the second ferry uh, to England and it's time for clue number seven. We're going to XRAF land repurposed after the Second World War. It's time for clue number eight. Our destination is found on lists including other names such as Nuremberg Ring, Circus Gilles Villeneuve, Circuit de Monaco and Circuit of the Americas. Eight minutes to final destination and I think it's time for clue number nine. Here's a little sample clip of the sound you would usually experience around here. Clue number ten. Where we're heading is home to the British Grand Prix and a series of motorsport races. So we have arrived in Oxford by the Silverstone Racing Course, where we're going to set up our office. The next phase now for us in engineering is we take the early prototype vehicles and obviously work through full engineering programs to get our first what we call our job one, our first car off the production line. We look at the legislation, we look at what we can do in each different country, we then move into an engineering program and we turn this into a real model, a model that we can simulate. The great thing is using some of the Siemens software that we work with, so we can take these models and we can put them into all sorts of environments. We can also take it through a crash. I think there's some really interesting things that will happen with the interior and a few little things as engineers we're gonna hide along the way that you may find in your car in the future. The feeling from Unity was we should just go all out and build an M1 vehicle. This means the car is homologated and we end up with a full OEM M1 vehicle on the road, homologated for the country rollout. This means the Unity 1 will be in the same category as most cars that you see on the street today and it'll go through testing and rigorous safety requirements, making the car safer and more adapted for a global market. And if you found this talk with Sally interesting, there's a link to a separate video where you can find more of the engineering content with Sally listed below. Drop-off has been made. Everything's done. Time to head back. Back to Europe! So we're just driving up on the Öresund bridge now. We've uh, delivered one car and uh, we're almost back now. We've almost, we, have, we have almost made it and I'm very tired and it's <laughs> 8 o'clock and it's not my birthday anymore. <laughs> so we are now back in Sweden and we have delivered one of our cars to Silverstone so that our team of engineers over there can continue working not just in software but on an actual car in real life. And as you see, we're still in a van, but this time we won't keep you hanging. We're going to Stockholm to E-Prize, which we told you about in a previous episode. In this episode, Unity is among the top finalists for the E-Prize. So Lewis is gonna pitch there, and we're also going to record a TV show, which is really exciting. See you in Stockholm in just a while. So we're just outside the event now, and we got a nice little greeting from uh, Bizd. <laughs> 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 this is the 
This was the hottest summer on record in the entire Northern Hemisphere. And we all know the impact of congestion and vehicle emissions in our city. But the fact remains, we still all need to get to work every day. And that's why our vision is simply getting the world where it needs to be. But the good news is, the world is already heading in the right direction. The electric car market will be worth a trillion dollars over the next decade. So the initial focus of our business model is capturing this with direct sales of our uniquely designed, energy efficient, lightweight electric car and an unmatched user experience because that's what we focus on. But cars are becoming a commodity. But our commodity is unique because it is more energy efficient and sustainable and it's one that we own and control which sets us up perfectly to capitalize on the even more sustainable trend of shared mobility, a $1.5 trillion market over the next decade. Now there are three ways to win on this market. Number one, convenience with our station-based mobility as a service model where you commute from work to home and back again instead of the other way around so that all of your parking and charging is handled at your key destination. The second criteria is delivering this at the right price, which we do with a purpose-built machine. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, we need to inspire people around the world to create change, to try this out by getting your attention and standing out from the crowd. Thanks for listening. Attack Fred, you have to tell playing us so we are just done here with a wonderful pitching competition at the E-Prize. How does it feel, Luis? It was good. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. And now is where this t-shirt comes into play. You see, you can actually vote for Unity in the E-Prize. And the link to that voting system is in the description below. So if you vote and comment on this video, why Unity should win. So you, if you do those two things, vote and comment, you can win one of these t-shirts. And this is what it looks like from the front. And this is what it looks like from the back. Now remember to vote before the 11th of October. Now back to Stockholm. So now we're heading back to the car to drive the Unity car to the TV series recording. So we just came here to set and uh, we took the cover off the car. So now people are gathering around and uh, they're really excited. How do you know you want so much in this car? The car looks great. It looks a bit futuristic, but I like it. My kind of car. We're going to try it. Tomorrow, I think it's yeah. gonna be fun. Nice. Looks yeah, like yeah. a spaceship here, but you know, I'm a certified astronaut, so it's okay. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah. So now we're at the TV set, and we're just about to start. A Jaguar is here, yeah. Unity is here, and we're in Stockholm by a house. Yeah, the car's gonna be a movie star. No, no, he went inside now. There's the actor who's gonna drive it. On the wet road here, up to the driveway of this beautiful house here in Stockholm. And uh, that's Unity's first present in public TV. It's pretty exciting, I think, uh, for us and the car. Uh, Henrik, how does it feel? So here is Albin and uh, Henrik. It's scene one, take three. How are you doing in there? <laughs> so remember now to vote before the 11th of October and comment why we should win in the episode below. The link to the vote is in the description and we'll of course announce the winners in the next episode. Hi, thanks for all your questions and comments and all the positive feedback we get in the comment section of these videos. Some of you have been asking for more information on the development and production side. Unfortunately, we just can't say too much right now because it's very sensitive information. So we're telling you everything we can, 
Uh, we'd love to give you more information about what's going on in the background, but we just can't say too much yet. <laughs>